Welcome to another episode. In this one, I'm near the center of Hesperius. That's galaxy number four. And I'll be heading to galaxy number five. This planet is near the center. And uh, this system, this star system, is one jump from the center. This guy's base is right over here. Let me show you. So he built this tower. You see he's using panels for power on the top. He used these structures to extend the height of the tower. He has a teleporter inside. By the way, you notice the islands here and it's um, a dissonant planet. In fact, you can see that it has ancient bones, vile brood, and it doesn't say dissonant here, but if you look, you could see it's a dissonant planet. Let me see, um, yeah, here, dissonance detected. All right, so this planet has a lot of stuff, and it's a grassy planet. Notice the weather's not too bad here. So this is a, um, not a bad spot. The colors are kind of cool. See how it changed tonight here. There are definitely other bases on this planet. Okay, let me show you, uh, there are two landing pads that he put, and uh, you can see he used the deep sea chamber. Using the teleporter, you go down to the ground, and you're right in front of the portal. I thought that's kind of nice. If you look at the tower here, he used those structure supports in between to make the tower higher up, and then he put the two landing pads going out. All right, so this is a nice little portal base, and you see he has a teleporter down here. Notice he hid the, the um, short-range teleporter behind the base terminus. So if somebody just walks in, it's not obvious. I don't know if he did that intentionally. And that's, um, and that's all. I just wanted to show you a cool planet with a cute little base. Oh, one more thing. This is Portal Barata Hesperius. And uh, it's by W.W. Barada 1. Thank you for watching.